What is up guys, Max here, and welcome to the Gaming Lower Thirds Template Overview and Tutorial. So I spent some time working on this really awesome Gaming Lower Thirds Template, and if you don't have it, feel free to jump over to my store and download it. Open it up in After Effects, and let's give this thing a look. Just to give you a quick overview of this template, there's three main elements. So we have this big bar at the bottom for the lower thirds where you can put in your youtube.com slash your name, your gaming title, whatever you want, and your logo. Also, we have a smaller lower thirds where you can put in your name and a corner lower thirds where you can put in your logo. Pretty awesome. And what's really, really cool about this template is you can quickly change the colors. So let's make the text black. Let's make the main color, I don't know, green. And make the background color pink, pink. I don't know the text color, maybe make it yellow or something. What looks crazy. Also, really fast, you can change the background opacity, the main color opacity, turn it all the way off if you'd like, just like that. And also, the text opacity. So if you have a game, you're working it down right here, something like this, really, really awesome. You can quickly tick a checkbox to turn your logo into a square or a circle. And the coolest part about this template is you can quickly tick a checkbox to turn on the backgrounds for the lower thirds. So instead of having colors, you can have a picture of your choice. It doesn't matter. Let's jump over to the raw template and learn how to turn it into something like this. Now, like I said before, if you haven't downloaded already, go download it. It's in the store. Really, really excited about it. So when you first open your project file, it's going to look something like this. Now the reason it looks really basic is so it's compatible on everyone's computer. It's meant to look that way, don't worry about it too much. Now the main focus right now is everything inside of your project panel. If your project panel is not showing, go to Window, Project. Now we have our project panel open. So in your one underscore main comps folder, these are your main compositions. So your color master is what we're in right now. That's where you go to change all your colors. Um, your L3, L3 bottom change text is where you can change the text of this lower third. L3 small change text is where you can change the text of this lower third. So right here is where you can place your background and right here is where you can place your logo. Now, to underscore render these is the files that you'll be rendering for final output in your video editing software. Assets and other is just organizational folders. So when you drag in some footage or drag in some images, I would always put them inside of assets to keep everything organized. Now, let's make this template look amazing. I'm going to go ahead and drag in some No Man's Sky footage into the asset folder, which is pretty much my life right now, which is okay. It's, you know, I'm, I'm cool with that. And what we'll do is actually go back to our color master and drop this footage right under our color master. And the reason we do this is just to get a feel of what the lower thirds will look like on top of our footage. So if we scroll through here, find some kind of cool piece of No Man's Sky that we can really work with. Ah, flying through space. That's always a good shot. Let's go a little bit forward right here. A little bit back. I'm trying to find the perfect shot for myself. Cool. Now let's go ahead and edit these colors to make this look awesome. As always, just click your controller, go to your effect controls. If that's not showing, go to window, all the way down to effect controls. And sometimes I lock the layer or lock the panel right here so it stays there while I'm editing. Now let's keep the text color white, take our main color, and let's pick whip this color somewhere in No Man's Sky. This green right here on the planet right here looks pretty cool. Let's pick whip this green. Awesome. Now on our background color, Let's do something custom. I don't know, maybe a blue around here somewhere. This blue right here could potentially be nice. Nah, no, that blue's not too bad. That looks all right. Maybe, maybe a brighter blue. And you know what? After all, I don't think this green is really working for us. What we're gonna do is change it to purple because somehow purple results in space. Now for No Man's Sky, I really think having the larger blue is better as an opaque background. So let's take the background opacity slider and bring it down to right about here. Now, what we need to do is put in new text, nice fonts that make everything really awesome. So go back to your project folder or your project panel and let's go to L3 change or L3 bottom change text. Cool, now we're here. We can double click on Kitten Tacos to change this text. Let's change it to No Man's Sky. 
Awesome. Highlight this, go to our character panel. I'm gonna type Century Gothic. That is the closest font that I could find to the No Man's Sky font. And now we're good with that. Let's double click youtube.com slash maxplace and change this to Babis New. It's my all time favorite font. You'll see me use it in a lot of different tutorials. It's just one of my favorites. And if you don't have it, I'll leave a link in the description for you to download it. It's a completely free font. It's really awesome. Let's jump back to Color Master. And now what we're going to do is change the Max Place font in this lower third at the top. So go to our L3 small change text. Double click. Double click on Max Place. Let's also change this to Babis New Bold. Click our pointer tool and drag this to the middle of the lower thirds to make it really nice. Now remember, you can rescale this stuff however you want. All you have to do is make sure it fits inside of the lower thirds, because if you drag it off, it will disappear. So remember to always make your text fit inside of this lower thirds. If you have any problems, just email me. Now what we need to do is put in our logo to this composition. So we're gonna go to place logo here, double click. I'm gonna go ahead and drag in my Max Plays logo into the asset folder and drag it right down into the composition. Now, then we'll scale down the Max Plays logo to make it fit inside the composition. If you're confused about what I just did, I just held shift on my keyboard, grabbed this corner, and dragged it down. Or you can hit S on your keyboard on the layer, open up the scale option, and actually just scale it down with your mouse like this. Either way works, it doesn't matter. Let's go back to Color Master. It's starting to look really cool. I'm really liking this so far. I think Max Plays is a little too far to the right. So what we'll do is go to L3 change small text or L3 small change text and move this back over to the center. That looks about right. Jump back to Color Master right here. You can click this or you can double click the Color Master composition. So I'll click this right here. Max Plays is in the center. Now I think for this one, I like having my logo as a circle. So what we're gonna do is click the controller panel or the controller layer you go to effect controls and tick our background or tick our tick our logo circle or square to to be checked for a circle that was a little bit of a tongue twister I'm sorry in advance so back to our project but you know this blue I'm not feeling it that much more so what we're gonna do is actually put in a background for this amazing gameplay footage that we've been working on for a long time this video that's gonna break the internet make the gaming community go nuts so, what we're going to do is go to Place Background here, double click. Right now it's just this static purple that is pretty boring. So I've already got a picture queued up, ready to be dragged in. I'm going to drag over this picture that I literally just downloaded from Google. I typed in Gaming Background 1080p. It's this desktop gaming background, really awesome. Drag it down into our composition for the Place Background here. And now we have this PS4 controller that's being destroyed. So let's drag this down about right here. That looks pretty awesome. Go back to Color Master. And what? It's not turned on. So all we got to do is go to our controller, go to our effect controls, and tick the background box. And now we have a PS4 controller background in all of our lower thirds. How cool is that? Now it looks a little off position, I think. What we'll do is jump back to our place background here layer. You can click here or back in your project panel for place background here and drag it up a little bit just to make it look nice inside of the color master. This is looking pretty awesome. And maybe to make this even better, we could change the purple to our red logo color to match our brand. Take the color picker and just pick up the red. This is looking pretty awesome, but maybe, maybe the purple wasn't too bad. Or for really fancy, we could go to blue. Does it matter? Not really, it's all up to you. So the next step is to render these files out into something we can use for our videos inside of our video editing software or our non-linear editing software like Final Cut Pro or Premiere, whatever you use, Sony Vegas, doesn't matter. So what we'll do is we'll go back to our project panel, highlight L3 bottom, L3 corner, and L3 small, open up our render queue, go to window, render queue, and drag these three compositions into our render queue. Next, we need to change a couple settings to make it work. Um, under your lossless output module in each one, click lossless. We'll open up this dialog box. In your video output, under channels, change RGB to RGB plus alpha for each one of these. Once you do that, that will render these lower thirds without a background. 
so they're transparent and you can drop them onto video layers inside of your editing software. Next, you'll change your output to to a folder that you'll keep these organized. You can name these, you know, No Man's Sky Lower Third or something like that. Doesn't matter. Next, we'll click Render. And while this is rendering, we're going to go ahead and prepare our Premiere Pro project for editing to go ahead and drop these lower thirds right on top. I've already got Premiere Pro queued up. And what we're going to do is go to Window, Project, and actually drag in some footage, just like we did before, for our lower thirds template. Here's some No Man's Sky footage, looking really awesome. We'll right click, new sequence from clip. Now we have this long sequence from my epic gameplay experience that is probably more boring than I actually think it is. I enjoy it though. Feel free to check out that channel. I live stream every now and then, it works. It passes the time, is what I'm trying to say. Let's jump back to our render, and it just finished. How about that? What we'll do is go ahead and drag these videos into our project right here, and just drag them onto the timeline, just to give them a look and see how they feel with our project. Give it a play. There's our bottom, looking really awesome. No Man's Sky with the PlayStation controller background. The corner module with our logo. And finally, the L3 Small, which pops out right in the center right now because of the composition settings. But what we can do is actually click this L3 Small. And the reason I did it this way is so it's easily manipulated. We can actually turn on our frame guides inside of Premiere Pro, also known as Safe Margins. If you don't see this, Click this little plus right here, and you can add the option right here. So we can reset the layout, and now it's gone. So it's gone, like you don't see it. Click the plus, and drag down safe margins to add it to your dock down here. You can do this with a bunch of different options, it's really helpful. So turn on safe margins, we have now have this box that kind of gives us a guide of where to put lower thirds. Take your position tag and your effect controls in Premiere. If you don't see it, go to Window, Effect Controls, and now it's here. Click your L3 small layer. And let's drag this over on the X and down on the Y to be popped out right here. Right here in our safeguard. So let's give this a little watch again. Turn the safeguards off so we can clearly see. And it looks really, really awesome. Other than that, guys, I really hope you enjoy this template. I'm really proud of it. Please leave a comment, like this video, share it, do whatever you want. But as always, I'm Max. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.